Pastor Robert Morris resigns from ministry. He steps down from being a pastor at Gateway Church because the truth was exposed. When he repented in 2014 and whatever happened in the 80s or 90s, he didn't tell the full truth. He lied. All right. Now, I want you guys to look at this release that the elders gave about how they came to find the truth and how he resigned. All right. Look at this statement from the board of elders of Gateway Church regarding the resignation of Pastor Robert Morris. South Lake, Texas, June 18, 2024. Um, today, June 18th, the board of elders of Gateway Church accepted the resignation of Robert Morris, the senior pastor. In addition, the board has retained the law firm of Haynes and Boone LLP to conduct an independent, thorough, and professional review of the report of past abuse to ensure we have a complete understanding of the events from 1982 to 1987. Regretfully, prior to Friday, June 14th, the elders did not have all the facts of the inappropriate relationship between Morris and the victim, including her age at the time and the length of the, abu the abuse. The elders' prior understanding was that uh, Morris's extramarital relationship, which he had discussed many times throughout his ministry, was with a young lady and not a 12-year-old, right? Even though it occurred many years before Gateway was established, as leaders of the church, we regret that we did not have the information that we now have. We are heartbroken and appalled by what has come to light over the past few days, and we express our deep sympathy to the victim and her family. For the sake of the victim, we are thankful. For the sake of the victim, we are thankful this situation has been exposed. You feel me? We know many have been affected by this. We understand that you are hurting and we are very sorry. It is our prayer that in time healing for all those affected can occur. So the, so the truth came out. The truth came out. Initially, the leaders were protecting Pastor Robert Morris because throughout the years, in the past, decades ago, he came out and he said things. 2014, he came out, but he was lying. He didn't tell the truth because he knew if he said the ages and this, that, he would have been, number one, probably put in jail, number one. And number two, he would never, he would have never been allowed to uh, be back in the pulpit, right? And a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, he, he confessed, you know, he got restored. He stepped away from two years of ministry. He should have been in jail. And that is the truth. The man should have been in jail. Like, like a real talk. He should have been in jail. And we're seeing this also broadcast. It's all over the internet, guys. This is literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Pastor Robert Morris resigns from Gateway Church. All right, look at this. Robert Morris has resigned as senior pastor at Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas, three days after confessing. You see this? Right here. And I'm trying to be careful with my words because sometimes YouTube will flag it and whatnot. Look at this right here. The elders' prior understanding. Like, look at this. Look at this, man. The man lied. The man straight up lied. Like, this is crazy. Gateway and Morris responded to Child's allegation by releasing statements on Friday and Saturday acknowledging that Morris had engaged in, you know, this type of behavior with a young lady and stating that the sin was dealt with correctly by confession and repentance. But guess what? They didn't have the full truth. He didn't truly con confess. And if you don't truly confess, you can't repent. Now, this is this is madness. Gateway officials did not respond. Look at this. Gateway officials did not respond to a message from NBC News on Tuesday asking why the church leaders issued a statement referring to Clemshaw as a young lady after she publicly revealed she was a child when all this stuff happened. Wow. You see, even Gateway was trying to, in a way, protect him. But I'm telling you, what is in the darkness will come to light. 
What is it? Let me say it again. What is in the darkness will come to light. All the perverse leaders, all of you. And guys, we all fall short of the glory of God, but this is not like falling short like, oh, I fell into sexual you know, sin. This right here is a felony, a crime that was going on for years and years and years, and the pastor was lying about it. Oh, judge not. He is without sin. Cast the first stone. Cast the first. No one's casting stones. We just telling the truth. This is crazy. Like straight up. And the Lord gave me a word in on December 28, 2023, about how 2024 would be the year of a restoration of the fear of the Lord and exposure. And I'm going to do a, a, a video and I'll drop it tomorrow where the Lord begins to uh, give me the word and I'm speaking by inspiration of the Holy Spirit that there's going to be perverse leaders that are going to be exposed, um, that there's going to be a restoration of the fear of the Lord, and he's going to take down certain leaders and we're going to their, their sin is going to be exposed and we're going to see it. We're all going to see it. And you'll see the verbiage that I that the Holy Spirit inspired me to use it's very, it's very detailed. It, it's very detailed, right? And I'm going to post it tomorrow at some point, whenever I have time, either tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. And it literally has come to pass. You can go on my Instagram and see it right now. And it literally has come to pass. We have seen Tony Evans step down for some type of sin. And now we see Robert Morris step down. You see, Tony Evans stepped down because obviously something was revealed to him. I don't believe he was just sitting there and he was like, oh man, I should step down, you know, for something I did. No, I believe something came to his attention. Something came to the elders and attention. Something came out and then boom, he's like, okay, step down. I got it, you know? So he stepped down before he could be, I, I believe, before anything comes to light. And we're seeing Robert Morris step down after being exposed there's a difference between him and tony evans how they handled it in 2014 robert morris just chose to lie he chose to not tell the full truth and not telling the full truth is a full lie right and it is sad how he tried to cover it up cover up the age cover up what really happened try to use certain soft words to make it seem like it wasn't that bad because if when he spoke in front of the church in 2014 and he said everything, the church probably would have raged. And the, the woman that was the victim, she was speaking out for a while, but she said that it was never, it never got the attention she wanted. So it's not like she was just talking this year. No, she's been speaking, right? But I guess God had a season, God had a timing. And the Bible says, I've given Jezebel a time to repent, but she didn't want to repent of her sexual morality. Right, so God gives us this grace and time to repent. If we don't repent, that day of exposure, that day of reckoning will come. Now I'm praying for Robert Morris that he'll repent fully in his heart, truly, truly confess, right? And truly restore his relationship with the Lord, right? Because he has been pastoring for the last 35 years since that incident as a liar, as a liar as someone who has not confessed of the things that he did. And notice I'm using safe words right now because I know YouTube is going to flag it, right? But th this right here is just, there's so many leaders like this, so many leaders like this. In the same week, Tony Evans and, what's his name? Robert Morris. Who else? What's going, what's going on in Texas? What's going on in Dallas? What, what's happening in Texas? These are the leaders people look up to in their mega church. What's up with these mega churches? What's going on with these mega churches? You got all the money in the world, all the bestseller, best-selling books, all the notoriety, all the in integrity in the world. But I'm telling you guys, there's a difference between oh, we all fall short versus something you've been hiding that is like a felony, that is a crime, and that disqualifies, disqualifies you from being a leader. 
There's a difference. And this should bring the fear of the Lord to all of us. And this is why, guys, I'm so transparent of the wickedness of my past, all those things, because the Lord took me out of that when I was in the world. There's a difference, guys, between, oh, I, I, I did this today, I sinned today. The difference between that and felonies and crimes that you hide. We all fall short. But when you fall short, confess and repent. You understand me? Who is next? Who has not been fearing the Lord and, not, and has been making all this money in ministry, all these you know, big names, and who hasn't been fearing the Lord? I'm going to post that prophetic word tomorrow so you guys see it. Fear the Lord. All of you leaders, who's next? T.D. Jake's going to pity these parties. Who's next? With undeniable truth. Who is next? What victim is going to come out and say something? You cannot hide from God. I feel like I'm preaching to a live stream right now, but this is pre-recorded. My spirit is just aggravated in a way because I don't know how he got away with this. I don't know. What kind of spirit was upon him to lie about what he did to that child? Ooh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Because some of y'all try to defend it and be like, it's for you. No, 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 no. He, he never confessed and repented. Nope. Never did. It's crazy. 